Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luke and you're watching Pokemon Everything and today was a great day for me because I went back to the local card store and played in a Pokemon tournament at the local level. I've been wanting to do this but I've been wanting to put my deck together first. I really want to bling out the deck which is what I've always done. I stopped playing at the local tournaments about a year, year and a half ago. I've missed it and so I went back and um, first of all it's completely changed. I didn't recognize a single person there except for one. One person who's a great player. Um, the one person that I recognized. Great player like I said but um, everybody else was a completely new face and in fact uh, there was a player there that was their first time playing in paper. They've been playing um, online but not like in person or anything and I thought that was really cool to meet people like that. I had a great chance to talk to a number of different people. It was just a great time. I really loved it. It was a best of one. Um, it went really quick. 30 minute rounds. Um, just easy, casual, um, good fun. And um, at the tournament I won two games. I lost one. Um, the game that I lost it was a long kind of like um, what was it? It's like a like a long grudge match. It just took a long time. It took almost the entire thirty minutes, and um, we'll talk about that card game, uh, that particular round, um, when we take a look at the deck. I'm really proud of the deck. I really blinged it out, so I kind of want to show it off. I think it's a really cool Charizard deck. You guys know that I've been using Charizard a lot. I even got this Charizard box for the uh, for my deck, and then um, really just blinged it out. There's only one card I need. Uh, which should be hopefully coming in the mail soon um, to finish off the deck unless of course there's changes and there's always going to be changes and then there's going to be the rotation so a lot of the things are rotating out anyways but I'm glad I got to at least use the deck the way it is this week I think I'll be back next week I really hope so uh, because there's nothing like playing card games in person it's totally different than playing online and um, we also got prizes because it was the best of three rounds they have a prize per win plus one so I had two wins plus one for just being there so got the prizing here we'll check those packs out at the end after we take a look at the deck and I'll share with you kind of more about how the tournament went so let's check out the deck right now all right well first of all I wanted to show off this cool deck box it's a Charizard deck box the shadow is really nice it has sort of a shine to the shadow um, and then inlaid with Charizard here um, it is by Ultra Pro I use a lot of these same sort of they're called alcove deck boxes um, I use these for magic I really like them they fit exactly like if you know anything about magic there's a format in magic called commander and um, it fits those commander decks perfectly and it actually fit, it fits these 60 card Pokemon decks really well. Everything I need comes in uh, the form of this particular box. So if I take out the contents, first of all, it was really cool. Um, they gave out some promos. So I got this Silene. And it's got the League symbol there, which I think is really sweet. And then before I show off the deck, I'm going to kind of point out this. This is like a... 50 count card jewel case but it you can hold the counters and stuff in there along with the 60 card deck and you have everything you need so I have like a heads and tails coin that I like a lot um, I have like the status stuff uh, the damage counters the V star is still in fashion so we're, we're still gonna have that in there um so yeah pretty cool little case I recommend it fits perfectly with a 60 card deck in in this so it's really good. If you wanted to do that, I highly recommend it. Alright, so here it is, the deck that I played featuring Charizard EX, one of the most popular decks right now, super fast. You can get a turn two Charizard EX and just start dealing tons of damage. Um, super easy to do that. But um, I will talk about some of the things like, for example, my first game, it went really quick. I got Charizard EX down, turn... I think it was turn two by the time I got it down, so that was really fast. They had a bunch of basic Pokemon. It was a good player. I know this was a good player, but they just had no 
answers. They couldn't draw into any answers, unfortunately, for them. And the game went very, very quickly. Um, the second game was the tough game. This is the game I lost. Um, in that game, let me see, who was my starter? I'll tell you who my starter was. It was my slowest start and um, almost eked it out in the end. I'm looking for him. Here he is, Radiant Charizard. Radiant Charizard was my starting Pokemon, the only Pokemon I had. And so, um, I played a Giratina deck, and Radiant Charizard, they kept bossing this guy up to the front, which was really hard for me to retreat, because this has a retreat cost of three, which makes it really hard to retreat. I, I mean, I'd hate, I'd hate to waste energy retreating it. I have an escape rope and a switch in the deck. Um, they were only expecting one of those. They were kind of surprised they had both, but the end game ended up being where on their winning turn, or my winning turn, the next turn actually, as it turned out, uh, they were e they, they were able to draw into their own sort of uh, catcher card, bossed up one of the Pokemon I had, knocked out, and won. Had they not done that, if they couldn't draw into it, maybe if that card was further down in the deck, they wouldn't have won. And so that was so close. But as you can see, I tried to bling out the deck. There's one card in here that's not blingy. It's not the battle VIP passes. I like the foil. It is... It is... I'm looking for it. Um, why can't I find it? Oh, I probably missed it. I missed it somewhere. That's terrible. Just looking at me going through my deck. That's boring. Sorry for the boring video content. Um, boy, it's got to be in here. Now it's going to drive me nuts if I can't find it. But I do have these awesome Ionos. I love these. These are beautiful cards. Here it is, the Super Rod. I'm, I'm missing a gold Super Rod. I have one coming. Didn't come soon enough, so here it is, Super Rod. Um, third game, I actually played against a Giratina deck. Um, they did well, but they only drew into one Comfy, and I got to sort of take out most of their deck before they could reach the critical amount of 10 cards in the lost zone. And so I was able to win that one pretty quickly. Pidgeot, Pidgey combo was just amazing, getting all the cards I needed. Um, and it was just, uh, it worked out really well. And so there we are. I was the only Charizard deck there. There are a lot of different decks there. Really cool to see the variety, um, which was a lot of fun. And like I said, in the end, we ended up with three packs, two Paradox Rift and an Obsidian Flame. Let's go with the Obsidian Flame first, since I, I think Obsidian Flame's like the weakest of all the sets so far in Scarlet and Violet. Let's see what we get. We got Stunfist, Heatmore, Palafin. So nothing really there, unfortunately. Let's go to the Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift, we have Larry, Oricorio, and Altaria GX. That's a nice looking card right there. And our final pack from the Paradoxal Rift, Dwebble, Silazar, Iron, Juggalus. So nothing really great there. So unfortunately, nothing really cool, but I had a ton of fun at the tournament. Um, this cool Altaria EX card as one of the prize cards is really nice. I can't wait to go back. Hopefully, um, you've had a chance to play in some online, not online, but in some in-person tournaments. If you are, I feel like you're one of the rare ones because we just don't get that many chances to do that. And um, I feel like there's not, like the ratio of Pokemon players to Pokemon collectors is definitely skewed towards the collector rather than the player. And I'd love to see more players out there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.